morning youtube welcome back to the channel how are you guys doing beautiful day so anyway today i'm working on my brother's car i'm helping him do the front brake so i'll walk you through what's going on so let's go all right so here's the car so something simple just the front brakes we're doing so first thing first let's raise the car actually first thing first let's unbolt the tire a little bit and then raise the car and then we'll go to work. Okay. All right, don't take out the tire yet. Just unscrew the bolt enough so it'll be easier to take it out. So once the car is in the air, you can't really do anything. Now let's raise the car. Let me use my trusty rock. Take out the tire now. Take out the tire. So here it is, guys. So to, to do the brakes, you don't really do need to do much. 14 here, 14 there. Oh, actually. Take this one out, so we untie this one, and then actually we're doing the rotors. We have to take the whole thing off. I forgot. All right, let's take the whole thing off. Yeah. All right, guys, to take the, um, the caliper bracket off, you need a breaker bar to help you because it's really tight. So I was using this guy didn't work it's good for what it works but just not taking the brake caliper off okay trying to break that one loose too oh ah that hurts okay now it's out let's take it out completely Okay guys, take out the rotor, it's a floating rotor so easy to take out. Just put it to the side for now. Brake pads. Okay, I need my cleaner. Alright guys, so a little bit of deep up brake cleaner. We got some of the dust. Clean it, clean it up a little bit with the rag. The rag doesn't need to be perfect, it's gonna get dirty again, but clean it up. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna clean up the bracket as well, a little bit as well. Just take some of the brake dust off of it. Alright guys, so here's the new rotor. I bought the part from Nissan. Same thing, always clean it up a little bit. Just a rag. Normally you can let it dry too, but I like to do a rag. Okay, that one is ready. Alright, let's put the rotor on. Now we can put the bracket back on that I just cleaned, this guy. Alright, just tying this up. Get you 19. Oop, 19. Bottom one. Okay. 
So we're going to use the breaker bar to make sure it's super tight but not extremely tight. That's good enough. Okay, that's not coming out. Now, before I clean this, I need to push this back in a little bit. I don't have the um, I don't have the right tool. There's even a clamp that goes here and then expand this way. I don't have it, but I get, I'll show you the next best thing. So, so guys, the next best thing is you open. You open the hood up, yeah. find the brake fluid, open it up, put the Somewhere. camera. And then you get a big plier, you pull it like this, and then you squeeze. It should go back in slowly. Take your time. All the way in as much as you can. Okay, that's it. Now, we clean this again. Actually, let's do the brush first. And don't breathe that stuff out, it's toxic for you. Careful when you use your brush so you don't scratch the rubber here. Because if you scratch it, then you gotta get another caliper, and you do not wanna do that. Trust me. Okay, I don't know if you guys notice, I use just a hanger wire so it's not stretching this cable. You don't want to, you know, stretch the cable also because it's fragile. Okay, so anyway, let's put the brake pads on. Also, original brake pads from Nissan. The hardware. You look at how this is to make sure I put it back in the same way. Let's run out. Okay, let's put the, these little guys on and make sure I got them right. Okay, I think that's how it goes. I think they are directional, just make sure you take out the old one first and make sure when you put it back, you put it back the same way. Okay, all right, I think this one is ready look just like that one okay let's put this one where it's supposed to go clip should unclip okay so we get another one do the same thing make sure you put it in exactly how this the old one looks so that way you know it's done properly So you put this goes into this hole here and then you have to push it under this tab lift it and then there you go so it goes here round it under this tab there you go there we go and then flip it over and snap it in okay now Got to put the brake pads on. They are directional, so make sure you got them properly on. Snap. Do actually, I forgot something. Before I put the brake pads on, put a little bit of grease on it. All right, guys. So this is brake. I forgot. There's a name for it. I can't remember. I'll put it on the description. Just a little bit on it. Pads are on. Now we can put the caliper on. Okay. 
slide it in and then the bolts that hold the calipers should be fairly easy as well okay let's, let's tie it Okay, this one is done. Let's put the tire back. Now you put the tire down. Once it's a little down, just make sure everything is tight. Always go on a cross pattern. So top, bottom, across, across here, and then the other side. You keep repeating until they are tight. They need to be hand tight. Just, you can easily take it out if you need to, if you get a flat on a highway or something. Just check it again. All right, now put it all the way down. On to the next size now. Basically, same thing you did on the first, the driver side, do it on the passenger side. It's exactly the same thing. So take this one out. Use a hanger wire. You could use anything, a bungee cord if you want. I don't have a bungee cord, I have a hanger wire. Either or works totally fine. The pads. Okay, now gotta use your breaker bar for the back. Got it. Next one. guys I'm gonna show you something real quick so normally the way you know that your brakes need to be replaced you start hearing squeaking when you hit the brakes that's one way the and so what happened is this little pen that comes with almost every brake this little pen start rubbing on the rotor that's where you hear the squeaking from so that means you need to replace it and as you can tell this one was probably not even like zero point something millimeters this was going to start touching the rotor and then you'll know you're going to have to replace it. Great. That's it. All right, stick out the rotor. Oh, this one is a, this one is a little seized up. All right, I got something for you. All right, so normally all you need, it's a mallet, it should, it should release it. There you go. She's out. Push it to the side. All right. Hold All right. So now, brake cleaner. Little clean up. Okay. A little spray more. Need to wipe it down a little bit. Okay. That's done. Now. Let's put the rotor on. Let's open it up. Then a little brake cleaner. Because there's, there's usually a, a little grease on the brake cleaner. They put it perfectly 
to protect it from rust if it doesn't sell right away. So brake cleaner, take it out to make sure you get a good braking right away when you start driving. Okay, let's put it on. Okay, can leave it on for now. Now let's clean up the racket. You know it's tight. It's good. Okay, perfect. Now we have to do the brakes. Let's get the brake pads ready. Take these out. Okay, so same way we did the other one. Let's get the same the same way. So slide it into this hole, push it under this tap, and it's the clip. And there we go. So this one is ready. Get another one. So this one goes the same way, slide it in here. Okay, that's ready. Now we can put this one here. Okay, let's do the top. The, uh, this one is so you want to put it basically the same way let me show you so like that so that little black pen you got to put it on the brakes so you know it only goes on one side so you it's a little clipping if it goes to the to this one so it starts so now put the brake on oh hold on jumping the guns here you gotta put this here first Okay, now brake pad on. Okay. Alright guys, remember the brake pad that has this little pin, it goes in the back. Okay? That's pretty much it. Alright guys, so same thing. Now we have to push the, the caliper back. Okay, so you just push it slowly and it will go back in. Oh, there you go. That's all. Now take this off. You don't need it anymore. And you can put the Okay, brakes are done. All right, let's put the tire back, boys.
Yes, I do. All right. Okay, take the car down. Oh. Always use an extra one just in case. You never know. The brakes are done. All good. And then, when you're done, don't forget to put back your cap back for the oil. It should be fine. I checked it. The level is good. Now, put the hood. Alright, guys. Another thing after you're done. Okay, with the, the pedal, make sure it's tight because you were messing with it, just make sure and then when you first start driving, take your time Okay, quick start and then mash up the brakes Just make sure they're good, it should be fine That's all she wrote, thanks for watching Hopefully this helps someone if you need help doing some brakes Alright, until the next one Peace